Ah, welcome back to a new week on the build. We've had our relaxation and time off. Now it's crack on and back back to the grind. Um, so work during the day and then van in the evenings and, and weekends. So today I have started to make the adaptions we wanted to the plumbing. So at the moment we have no idea how much water is in that tank when we fill it up. It's currently empty because I've trained the system down. So what I'm going to do is part of this overflow, not using this bit of pipe, we've got a better bit coming. Um, we're going to basically add a two piece in there. So one will be going to the lever to drain it if we need to. And the other one will be um, attached onto there, coming up. It'll attach to the, it'll connect to the um, breather for the air. It's going to connect to the um, filling point. So when we're filling up with water, in theory this works, I've tested it a little bit, so hopefully it'll work. Um, the water will obviously go up on here as well, so we'll see how much water's in it. And obviously when we're draining the water down, we'll see how much we're using and where it is at, so we know how much we've got left. I think it will work, that's my theory. I'm gonna try it. Saves having to drill holes and add like um, monitors and electric electrodes and spikes and all that kind of stuff that a lot of people do, which is fine, but our tank is a bit of a weird shape so how am I going to know what's half three quarters and empty because it's just I don't know if it'll work properly so I'm going to use that and it will save us a few quid and we'll see if it works um, so that's one job I need to do I'm not going to do it today because I've lost the elbows I've got six or seven of them somewhere I, I packed them away before we went on holiday and now I can't find them so they'll turn up eventually I've spent about an hour looking but we'll get there so I'm going to start and turn my attention to, believe it or not, dun, 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 the shower, because the shower tray is here. Let me go and show you. Ta -da! So here it is. Uh, one, two, three, third shower tray is finally here. Push this out of the way, a bit of light, just a temporary wall. Goodbye, this is what our shower tray looks like. It looks a bit of an anticlimax, I know. But it's, the, it's gonna work for us and we think it's gonna fit in really nice with our theme. And more importantly in all of that, it's the best thing we've come up with in terms of a system for it not cracking, for it being waterproof and um, keeping everything where we want it to be in terms of the shower. So there it is, da, da, da. just need to fit it, put the walls in, sort out the plumbing, put the shower in, put the ceiling on, get the door, not much, be done in a week, maybe. So what I've done is I've taken out a bit of the bulkhead dun, 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 and a bit of that side of the wall and I've drilled two holes, doesn't matter, one was in the wrong place, it's absolutely fine, they're both going to go and put the shower tray drain in anyway. What do you like my um, rocking the Crocs and socks look? Amazing as ever. I've joined you! <laughs> oh. I've joined the gang. Nice! So Cheryl is now going to put this in to place. Hopefully it fits nicely, it should do. In? Yeah. No. What's that? It's not in, is it? I'll push it and it'll go in. I don't think it's actually quite square. What is that square? The shower tray. I don't know the wall. wall. It was better than that a minute ago when I tried it. <coughs> anyway, we'll figure that out in a sec. So I don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up, but the idea is. The lip of the shower tray is pretty flush with the bulkhead wall and it's the same on this side, it's pretty flush. So we've got some nice UPVC, what is it, plastic? Plastic cladding. Plastic cladding stuff. Um, it's basically going to go down the wall, it's going to go straight into the lip of the shower so it can't leak behind or go outside. Any leaks it's always going to drain into the bottom of the shower. Then we're just going to join the corners, uh, obviously do that wall, do that wall, we've got to build this wall, we've got to build this wall and then that'll be done. We've got a bit for the ceiling as well which we've got to sort out but the shower tray is in. That's going to come out again in a minute. Um, I've drilled, like I said, I've drilled a hole for the drain. I've checked underneath, we're all good. Just got to work out, I haven't quite figured out how we're going to connect it all to the waste tank that I haven't put on yet anyway but what do you reckon? I'm happy with that. Happy with that? What's the best thing about having a black shower tray? Is that when you're nipping in with your dirty feet, you can nip in and it won't be gross. And also the fact it's completely flat with the floor, so you're yeah. not getting that 
horrible feeling that you're going to crack it um, on a motorhome caravan shower. They're normally a bit flexible, aren't they? This one's going to be great. It's going to be easy to clean. Happy days. Now, one thing we do need to think about before we put the walls in is how a door works. How a door works? Generally speaking, you open the handle and then pull it. No, but if we're going for one of those timber doors, uh -huh. if, yeah, then um, I need to know where its rail does its rail go at the bottom. I don't know. I need. To, I don't know how they work. All right, let's go and find that out. Yeah. Armed with my trusty bread knife, my ten pound bread knife from Argos. Um, to cut the mattresses again. So we worked out how we wanted the bed and we wanted the bed to be really easy to move about. We had the jigsaw bed in our old motorhome and we hated it. We hated having to get it ready to go to bed. So more often than that we just slept on the sofas which weren't very comfy. So we had, if you've seen before, the two mattresses side by side this way because we were going to sleep that way we didn't like it turns out it's the same width and, and length anyway when this is pulled out um, so what that meant was we could flip the mattresses and I'd already cut Steve's mattress well I'd left Steve's mattress the single width and I was happier on a smaller width anyway um, I sleep on my side it was no bother for me um, and he does all the driving so he needs to have a good sleep um, doesn't mean I was uncomfortable but just means he's got more of a comfy bed what that meant was then in the daytime when we wanted to push this back we then had to spin both the mattresses round I'm not great at lifting so that was hard for me then it also meant that in the daytime you couldn't use the match the bed if somebody was sitting down here because the mattresses were piled on top of each other also meant we got no light in from the windows at the back because they were covered in duvets, mattresses, bedding and everything. So we've come up with a plan. So I've just chopped the bottom 45 centimetres of this off and the plan is that's still in its mattress cover so in the daytime that can get tucked under and at night time I can simply whack this bit back in, zip it in so it doesn't move about like that and hopefully that will be pretty comfortable and I've worked it so the zip will always be this end um, easy to get in and out and hopefully we won't kick it down and actually you can't really feel that join and that's going to be fine and it has a fitted sheet on anyway so easy for daytime mode so I'll do the same to the other side now annoyingly this was the one that was that end and I cut both corners off to so it could fit like right up to the door so I'll have to do that on that one but hopefully that's a hell of a lot easier for packing up in the day it also means perhaps I have to get some kind of covers made for that bit so that looks a bit weak gross um, that means it's also usable in the day if somebody wants to lay down or a nap it's usable isn't it good right I'll get on with the other one love it when a plan comes together right folks we are back on the shower yeah, we've kept these vlogs very real we had a terrible time yesterday we were doing a really hard job trying to work out the shower and 
yeah we just <laughs> we just failed to communicate well with each other so we had to have some time apart <laughs> Steve was on the naughty step <laughs> and I was in the corner with my dunces hat on <laughs> yeah we had a bit of a break and um we're back on it today both got a few other jobs done that we wanted to get done for ourselves so we're both in a better place today i think we are deliberating a lot on the shower just because water's bad in a van and it just seems wrong to be putting water in the van um, and we want it obviously to work and shower tray number three is good it's brilliant and we're just a bit nervous about messing it up i think anyway we've got the waste drainy waste thing what's it actually called i think it's called waste well it's yeah. an unslotted yesterday it's an unslotted waste what unslotted means it hasn't got a hole in the side for like overflow okay because we don't need that we don't need that no because if I mean if we fill our shower tray up with water we run out of water because it's a big shower tray yeah. we've got a little water tank <laughs> I mean it's still possible but we've got that the only dilemma we've got now is is this long enough to go through the bottom of the van I thought it was but looking at it I'm not entirely certain so we're just trying to measure it yeah while Steve's measuring how long his thing is through the hole um something else we discovered last week so I know there's a lot of debate debate in the van building community about vapor barrier or not vapor barrier well obviously when we went away last week it was only partially done um and where we were sleeping we were obviously creating a lot of condensation and we did sleep with the windows open all nights apart from one apart from the 65 kilometer an hour winds um night we slept with the windows open um and where we had the bolts coming through can't show you them because i've covered them up now these ones these were drippy like stalactites or stalagmites whichever the ones that come down they were really drippy and the wood um not the wood the metal around where we were sleeping a lot of condensation on there just from our breathing we didn't have the heating on we didn't have the hot water on or anything like that just from us and we didn't spend a huge amount of time in the van before we went to bed either as we like to sit outside quite a lot um so yeah that really showed us that the vapour barrier is going to do a really good job because where, wherever there was anything obviously there was no moisture getting through into our lovely woodwork um yeah anyway i digress how's your thing in the hole babe <laughs> sorry what was the question again how's your thing in the hole is your thing long enough for the hole <laughs> well that answer to that is quite obvious <laughs> Is it? I mean I did put that a little bit lower only half a centimetre if that below the thing but I'm just trying to think because we need to cut the hole out and that's going to sit in the hole definitely need that top seal can you get a different what's this a washer a nut a bolt <laughs> <laughs> Comment below if you know, because we obviously don't, us YouTube builders that know the name of things. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a van. Um, Are you sure? This is a nut, or a type of nut. Is it not a washer? No, this is a type of washer sure or a gasket. Sure it's not I don't know. Don't. I don't know. Someone's going to pick me up on that now, aren't they, and criticise me for my nuts and bolts. It doesn't matter. I mean, I've got another one. Well, it doesn't make a difference. It's still the same thickness, isn't it? But could you lose some of it? Or do we measure it again? We could try measuring again. Measure, measure, measure. Measure, again. measure, measure. Right, we're back from three shops. Well, four technically. Did some shopping as well. Got some food. Yeah. Oh, and Amazon. I purchased on Amazon as well. Um, so we think we've got all the plumbing bits we need. So we'll fill you in on, on that later um steve's gonna drill a big hole in the van i love drilling holes in the van here we go this lovely nice and expensive well not that expensive at all third effort at shower tray i'm about to put a big hole in it <laughs> nearly there 
some fire. Smoking. <laughs> oh, pretty much there. Actually, that's been all the way through. Is it? Yeah, almost. Just got one little bit more to do, but as usual, the whole saw's full. Now I've got to spend five minutes getting it out. <laughs> Alright, you've emptied your hole. Emptied my hole. It's quite weird like that, look. You can see insulation and most of the gravel floor below. That's not scary at all, is it? Alright, let's finish this off. One hole. That's good because that that bit will sit nice in that little. One dip. floor, one shower tray. Woo! So there it is, our big shower hole without the shower tray in. That all the bits of plumbing I've brought this afternoon are getting them filthy, it's just like when I put the diesel heater in. Um, but with all those bits of plumbing, it still doesn't quite fit. However, the good news is actually got a plan now I know how to do it I figured it out so I need to pop out tomorrow buy a couple more bits of plumbing stuff and I'll be able to bodge this together I understand now why some people don't put shower in their van which has many reasons but the main one I reckon is because it's an absolute nightmare to plumb it up to your waste tank in my opinion uh, right so the good news is anyway the other good news is we can now stick a flex shower tray down because I know how to put that in. We can put the waste in, uh, but I'm not going to secure that stick flex that in yet because if you have to plumb on the bottom, I think it's easier to do it with with it out first, and then we'll go we'll go to that. But we're going to make progress. We can get this in, and then we can crack on with the shower walls and that tomorrow. I can whiz out in the car and buy the bits I need for the plumbing. Yay and nay. Yay and nay. Nay and yay. Before we put up the PVC on the walls, I'm just giving this a coat of PVA, um, just as an extra, extra waterproof layer, just in case we get any leaks which hopefully we won't with the PV, um, PVC, lots of Sikaflex, lots of sealant, we should be good, but it does recommend on, from the cladding company that you do this, so that is what we are doing. So I'm gonna PVA all of this, and then the bits of wall as well, the internal stuff that we haven't got up yet, um, I'll do that as well. Don't let draw off. And don't draw any rude pictures. Can I draw a rude picture? No, don't. What? channel is clean. Is it? Yeah, apart from your carry on jokes. <laughs> carry on joke. <laughs> well, there's been a few comments about our uh, sense of humour. Well there's no wrong or reason to this um or skill or talent. Oh, no. It's very Picasso darling. Oh, yeah. It takes an artist to know an artist. It does. This stuff will stick anything in any manner, in any fashion. Even try. if you wrote a rude word, it would still stick. You're just trying to tempt me, aren't you? No. Right, where should we put a bit more? You're the least sweary person I know. Who? Are you? I'm not. You don't like a swear word. Oh, I don't swear much, though. No. no, that's what I'm saying. That's been terrible, isn't it? <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> so when we put the solar panels in, I could have sworn an awful lot today and yesterday mm. with this bloody shower. So far, by a country mile, the most stressful thing on this and difficult thing on this van build, and we haven't even done it yet, is putting the shower in and doing the wastewater. Yeah, but think back to solar panel day where we stood for a whole day in the sun on ladders, not knowing what we were doing. Yeah, it's quite nice. This is in the sun. Think now I'm underneath a van covered in cack and it's pissing down the rain every five minutes. I didn't swear. Think about the day where we had to cut the windows out. I wonder if I should put a good blob around there. It's not going to hurt, is it? 
<laughs> well, yeah, no one's ever done this, so. No, but you, you look at people doing showers and things on the tube of you, but. Everybody I don't know. does it Everybody in a does different it differently. way. Anyway, that ain't going to move, is it? Nope. <laughs> I'm not filming you crack. <laughs> People pay good money for that. Yeah, from your OnlyFans account. <coughs> yep. <laughs> That's alright to stand on it, do you think? It's probably going to help it stick, isn't it? So, to explain our plan, the plumbing bits I've got didn't quite work. I'm not going to go into it now because I've had enough and it's dinner time. So we're Is not... It? Well, it'll be dinner time in a bit when we made it. So we're not sick of flexing in the actual drain yet because I want to take it with me to the plumbing centre tomorrow to ask the experts what to do because I need another bit. Do it in then in case a mouse comes in. I mean the mouse is going to get through that, no hassle. You reckon? The mouse will get through that hole there easy. Oh well that isn't very good then is it? Well it'll be connected to the drain pipe won't it no, eventually? I'm, I mean tonight, you silly sausage. Oh, yeah. I mean, if from else wants to get in anyway, it'll get in anyway. Mm. There's so much blooming up, so many holes in this van. <laughs> I'll do a big wee round it, that'll do, that'll scare off, won't it? It's what you do down the allotment with the rats, innit? I do not wee at the allotment. Well, I do, in a bucket <laughs> in the shed as well. <laughs> Camping wees. Right, let's get something heavy. Go in there. You don't want to sleep in there, why are we not in there? You don't want to sleep in there? <laughs> you just sleep in a ball. <laughs> More room than the bed. That's not heavy, by the way, it's just a towel. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask if we could do that whilst the chips were cooking. What is that? In case you're wondering what's going on, um, We've had a washing line up between two trees for years and it's just got saggier and saggier and yeah, it's not great and you have to dodge the dog poo if you want to hang your washing up before work in the morning. So we've treated ourselves to um, a whirly one, um, so I needed the postcrete to fix that in so I'm going to do that in a minute while the chips are cooking. Um, so hopefully he's going to bring a slab now. I think that's going to work down a bit isn't it? Lovely. So walls are all PVA'd, other walls are PVA'd, we need to put them in the garage. I did the front and the back of the one here, because it's going to have the pipe work at the back, I sort of bit of protection. You okay there? Yeah. I think the dogs are escaping. See you in the morning. <laughs> Ah, so good morning. Today is Saturday. It's absolutely persisting down with rain, which is not fun. Um, and it's another day on the van build. So unfortunately, because of the rain and because of the, I'm doing the plumbing underneath the van, I'm not going to film much of it today. Um, but when it's drier, like a, I'm going to do with the diesel tank and the diesel um, heater and the feed from the diesel tank for that. I'll go underneath and I'll film like a proper bit to show exactly what we've done. I know this isn't a how to do it, but it's just what we're doing. But it's nice to keep that record. And some people I appreciate are interested in or actually doing it might be some help to you of how not to do it. But anyway, the shower tray, we um, sick of flex into place last night. We left the nice big paving slab in there. Let me do good camera skills and pan on down to that. So there we go. That's been drying all night. It's now solid as a rock. So I'm going to take the um, paving slab out and go, and then we're going to fit and start to fit the shower. So what I will show you is what I'm going to do and how it works. I tried last night and it was leaking. So basically, I'm going to do this. This was this is the, um, the the drain for the shower. It goes through the through the shower hole into the bottom of the van or outside the um, bottom of the van. And we've got just enough thread showing at the bottom to be able to thread this little bit of 40mm plumbing onto it. Um, I did have yesterday, which is why it was leaking and I struggled. And again, let me... I'm well prepared for this. Um, I did have just this bit. And what was happening was, what I didn't think about, was when this comes through the bottom of the van and this 
this comes through the bottom of the van and this screws on this kind of u-bend bit was traveling too high and hitting the bottom of the van so i couldn't tighten it up enough because i didn't think about that so i popped out this morning and i've bought this little one inch extension everyone needs a one inch extension and it just screws into there so that's nice and tight it's, it's gave me an inch and now that can screw into there and this bit is no longer hitting the bottom of the van and this can go wherever we need it to go well, i know where it's going to go because it's nice and nice and flexible and bendy so it's going to be easy to, for working around the around the chassis of the van so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get wet i'm going to get dirty i'm going to get muddy i'm going to get underneath the van i'm going to get all this plumbing done and hopefully get the waste tank on as well although i don't know it's a bit wet for that maybe i have to wait till another day but at least the plumbing will be in and good to go so then we'll have the shower that drains the sink that drains i just need to connect it all together into a waste tank let's go so it's another soggy day in van build land which is making going in and out of the van really fun i um i gave up on plumbing i said earlier i was going to do plumbing today and do the waste tank which i was quite happy to do i was getting soaked but that doesn't bother me but i got to the point where i couldn't feel my fingers and it's not doing what i want it to do so i've given up <laughs> we'll wait until we've got some sunshine plus i was in the shower because i was so cold and you get that bit where you don't know if it's hot or cold because it's oh, just no. burning burning or is it freezing i don't know so anyway we're doing some woodwork instead and doing some finishing off cheryl's getting high using her filler with her finger as she does yeah so um just filling in like random bits that we've changed stuff and that um and that'll all get painted um and we are just f getting the um fridge cupboard area ready for some doors so we just we just put temporary shelves in so we're just getting those in the right place and now we're just having an explore with something we found yesterday we went to wix um because i think we are going to do the ceiling with a black background and strips of bamboo or pine or something or other on the ceiling um, and we came across this stuff which is like a protective Some, membrane yeah I'm but sure it's, it's so light it's like a lighter than a piece of paper and you can just cut it with scissors cut it with scissors so we're just doing the roof of the cupboard so we just thought we'd do that and see what it's like and if it goes on with a vapor barrier because we thought we could just actually just staple it, it on comes the in ceiling. big sheets like plywood size sheets yeah big old sheets and it was about three pound four, i think it's four pound eighty or something a sheet so we staple that to the ceiling once we obviously put the insulation in and done the vapor barrier and then just put our strips of wood to trail once bamboo or something like that to go in across the top so instead of buying plywood painting it black and putting that in which is yeah time money and weight this is really light and yeah. hopefully it'll do the same job we don't know we'll find out i don't know i know other people use felt but you weren't keen on that idea were you no I don't know why do you know well, what it's just absorb stuff doesn't it absorb smells yeah things like that it's easy it's harder to clean yeah this is just wipe wipe if you need to wipe it i mean i don't know what you're gonna get on the ceiling knowing you probably something champagne champagne yeah that you don't drink i love it <laughs> <laughs> um right so do you want to put this in do you want to paint this first wouldn't it make sense to paint it first and then put this in yeah but i need that in so i can sand that fill that no, put it in. I won't put then it in. Are you going to get paint on here? No, I won't get paint on there. Okay, famous last words. I'm going to film this when you've done it and show everyone all the paint streaks. It doesn't matter. It. It's a cupboard anyway. I don't know if you can see it. No, I'll put it away. Uh, that's the top. That's the back. That way. So that's going to go in like that. And then we need to bend it around there and that will cover up that. Uh, yeah. So <gasps> just thought oh god no what? no because you know we were like oh we're gonna have to cut extra bits to, to go across there well that just creases so if we get the crease in the right place we'll be able to just arch it yeah but we still need something to secure it or so we'll just flap it out well i realize that but we can velcro onto here double-sided tape do you know Sounds a bit dodge. Don't 
double sided tape. What do you think? This is some kind of amateur build or something. It's not Blue Peter. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> glue gun. We could glue gun it onto those bits. Oh, God. Let's just gaffer tape everything. Okay, and if then I said done. Arrow dye it on, would you put Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I can use that on anything. <laughs> There's a lot of numbers. There are, what are you up to? Just starting, very, very, very early stages of making the drawers. Making drawers. Have you ever made a drawer before? Like not a pre-packed one. Uh, don't think so. Don't remember making a draw before. Everything I've read and seen and heard is they're really hard. Brilliant. How many have you got to make? Six. Wicked. Yeah. Good luck. Good done, boy. See. Rob. Right. Let's give you a little update. We've been beavering away. We haven't really done a huge amount of filming today, and it's quite tricky because it's raining and. Steve's in the garage, I'm in the van. So I've done done the sealant around here, It'll be a bit to wipe off when it's dry, but that's looking good like that hopefully won't leak. Um, and then all of this woodwork has been primed and had its first coat of paint. Um, I've done the filler and the that's had just had its first coat of paint that's all been painted those holes have been filled where we put in that extra support and that's had a paint um, then this has all been primed ready to paint um, I've primed all this and then I've just like done a nice sand on the, the corners because these were you can see on this one where they're sharp they're, they're really horrible to lift up so that's all had a sand um and then that bit's all out of sand so when you're putting things in and out ugh, still sticky um it's um not so harsh on your hands um so yeah that's everything i've been doing it takes ages doesn't it and obviously the fridge is going there so i'm not wasting paint on that it's had one coat that'll do primer and whatever um but yeah that'll um that i'll do for today um and then i've painted all in here because this is going to be like cubby hole probably shoe storage because that's one of the things that drives us more mad than anything is not having anywhere to just like kick your shoes off um so i think some of this will be shoe and maybe other stuff at the top um but that's going to be cupboard so i've done it the cupboard colours if that makes sense so all our furniture is in this colour um, and I thought I'm not going to want it once we've made the cupboard and it's going to be really hard to get in and paint that so I've painted that bit and and that bit has been done and these blocks are all ready for the shelves they look like a mess but I've got my plan so the bits you'll be able to see have been painted ready so they can get fixed in and it won't be a pain to um, paint once it's done. Oh, that's the stuff that we're using for the ceiling. It works out quite well. Um, so there it is, Proplex. Could be complete disaster, but it's working for us at the minute. An old draw guy. Hello. It's busy. Yep. You've cut all your bits. Well, most of them, not all of them, have run out of funny old thing, just for a change, run out of wood. Run out of wood. Very good, right. Very nice. I am going... Make a tea? No, I'm oh, going... Oh, there you go, see, never makes me a tea. I'll make me own. Hang on, what's that mug there from? Well, I made earlier. Um, Blue Peter style. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to get cleaned up, then I'm going to go to the shop and buy us some snacks and some beers. Oh, yeah. Ready to watch the rugby. What time's that on? Half past five. Oh, nice. Is that okay? That's perfect. No, not your draw. Me going to get beers and snacks. Oh, that's perfect too. 